We systematically attack left-handed pitchers. For us to be able to do that, again, we got to have that 12-foot lead, but we have to perfect our version of a one-way lead. Why 12 feet? Again, because if we're going to hit and run, if we're going to delay steal, if we're going to do all the stuff we like to do against left-handed pitchers, we got to be far out enough to, to be able to make that happen. So the technique that we use and we find is best, our one-way lead is we'll pick up that left foot and that left hand in unison, and we will jab back toward first base when we see leg lift. And we're hanging here until he picks. If he picks, we just put this hand on the ground and dive back. If he goes to the plate, we extend out with our secondary, or we're on our delay steal, or our hit and run, or whatever's going on. So we're keeping ourselves safe. We're also creating an illusion here. And the illusion here is that we are closer to first base than we actually are. And also, this does not look threatening. We are creating the illusion that we're not going anywhere. So that's why that one-way lead is also effective there. Here's our one-way lead. We got a left-handed pitcher on the mound, and we got runners, and they're going to jab with the left foot and the left hand. Once they read that he's going to the plate, they get out into their one-shuffle secondary. We will also allow the pitcher to pick in this drill as well. So if he does pick, we go one-way lead to cross over to dive back.